Today I sat down with former NFL offensive lineman Derek Dockery, who played 10 seasons in the NFL and then got his master's degree in business. Now Derek works in Congress for the Speaker of the House. We talked about his upbringing, life in the NFL, and the importance of family. Derek, I'm excited we get the chance to talk and get around the table and really dig into things today. And I know a lot of people probably talk to you about you know, being an NFL player or now with your political career, but take me further back. Tell me about your upbringing. Well, Dan, thank you for having me. This is great. Um, but, but, by the way, uh, amazing restaurant. Uh, they should call you DJ Khalid because like, you know, all you do is win. All you do is make hits. Unbelievable restaurant. Uh, take you back. I grew up in a two-parent house household, blue-collar family from Dallas, Texas. My parents are amazing, uh, very hard on me in a loving way. Uh, taught me to believe in myself. Taught me that I, I could I could do anything. They impressed on me at a very young age. Don't let anyone tell you that you can't do anything. And so for me, I grew up in a loving home, and I think more than anything, they would say, son, if you're gonna do something, give it 100%. Sometimes go even beyond. And so that left an indelible impression on me at a very young age that has carried over to this day in everything that I do. So you, you seem incredibly motivated to me. Where does, that, where does that motivation come from continuously? So one, it's, it's, I think it's, it, it, it's my faith, my own personal faith, and my Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. And then two, just my upbringing, my parents again. It's one of those things where you, in life, like things happen, but I was always of the mindset, you can do anything if you put your mind to it. You know, elements of success, I think, are universal. You know, hard work, dedication, commitment, you know, putting in the time. My wife works out at a martial arts studio and they have a saying that um, hard, work, hard work beats talent when talent doesn't work hard. Mm. And so it's always, and I t we teach that to our kids too, so I love hearing that, right? Like, right. sure, you've, got, you've obviously got talent, but it doesn't mean you had the most, but you worked and you developed it and you worked hard and you overcame that. It's, and I think hard work travels in no matter what field you're in, hard work travels. Banker, lawyer, doctor, teacher, are you willing to put in the work? Are you willing to be the best teacher, the best lawyer, the best doctor, the best athlete, the best parent? I mean, everything takes work. You, just, you don't get better, you have to work. You don't do the work. When, you, when it comes into physical fitness, you have to put in the work. When you find out, like you're thinking, I'm going pro, I'm hoping, I'm working hard, and then you get drafted to the NFL. What's that feel like? It's, it's an amazing experience, particularly when you look at the opportunities and I look back over my uh, career, not career, but my experience. Because, mm -hmm. you know, the, the NFL means not for long and most of you just in it for like 10 years and you still got the rest of your life to live. The opportunities that come from playing professional football can really change the trajectory of your family financially, mm -hmm. uh, open up many other doors. But, I mean, I just love the game of football. I love what football taught me as far as team, camaraderie, um, having a one common goal, and that was to win, host the Super Bowl trophy. Uh, um, just the people that I met while playing football. You seem to have a remarkable ability of, of foresight and to be thinking about what's, what's next. So when did you start thinking what's after the NFL? So it was around like year eight, it's like, Derek, you need to think about what you're going to do next. Because my goal coming in was to always play 10 years. And so my role started to diminish. I went from a starter to a backup, put a plan together. Um, an opportunity for me uh, came up to go back to school. Uh, went back, uh, finished my undergrad. Uh, went to grad school at uh, George Washington University, got my MBA. I think it just taught me that, you know, there's life after football. Um, you know, the NFL is an experience. It's anywhere from whenever you step on that field, be short as a day, two games, three games. Fortunately for me, I pay, played 10. Um, and so I had to like, okay, you know, I found my passion, which was, you know, public policy and politics. 
um, through school, garnered some relationships, got connected with a former congressman who was in a Hall of Fame wide receiver, a former congressman from Oklahoma, Steve Largent. And I told him what I wanted to do. And so I was fortunate. Unbelievable team, unbelievable spouse, Emma Dockery helped me. Uh, and, you know, it was great, man. Going back to school really just helps you to start thinking again, uh, opens you up to the, the, the possibilities of what's out there. You know, and then you go, you go to school, you meet interesting and great people, you build those relationships, and who knows where, they, where those relationships take you. Um, and I'm here with you today, GW Love. That's right, right, right. So we got the GW connection, and we met when you were getting in your school. MBA. Right, right. And Emma was getting her MBA at the same right, time. Right, right. We did at the same time. And so it was good to have a, another partner. And I, I tell people this all the time, like, my wife is extraordinary. <laughs> She's an extraordinary woman. It's like, she can writer, entrepreneur, mom, philanthropist. She does it all. And so, you know, she, she, she's an amazing woman. Um, like, I, I glow every time I talk about her uh, because, you know, I met the woman of my dreams. I think about all these experiences that you've had. And I, you know, I watch you when you talk about Emma and when you talk about your kids. And you do light up. I can relate. You know, I'm a dad. I've got my three boys. Um, my wife, Susie, is awesome. I feel lucky. What's this family journey been like for you? It's been amazing. Uh, you think about like when I, I, I talk about my parents. who have been married for since me forever, and I was like, that's what I want. Um, having three amazing kids, uh, two girls and one boy. My my son is the baby, um, so now I'm living vicariously through him. Hey son, you know. Yeah. Next, but, I, 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 but for me, it's, it's it's great because when it teaches you about uh, coming out of yourself, it's not about you. You're a dad now, you're a husband now, you have responsibilities. It's about, you know, uh, having to be selfless, you know, like, hey, how do you put your family first? And so whatever I can to better that marriage or better my parenting, put my kids in a good situation or uh, an environment that's conducive for them to really maximizing their potential, cultivating and fostering an environment, that's what I want to do as a husband and dad. Because that's really your team, right? Like that's, that's your squad. Team. You and Emma and the kids. Right, yes sir. That is awesome.